Welcome everybody to our fourth tutorial on MySQL and Java. In this tutorial, which is the most important one of our series, we're going to add the functionalities such as select all, insert, and do all that stuff to the user interface that we have developed in the previous tutorial. So let's begin. Uh, don't forget to subscribe as all time but in this video I would like to remember remind you with the thing that we're going to cover we're gonna bring the table to object conversion be because we don't want to create the table from scratch we're gonna take it from the MySQL directly to Java code this is very nice and we gotta use the service object table source binding we're gonna take the table from the MySQL and bind it directly to the G table in Java NetBeans. After that, we're gonna use the data access layer object in order to select and get all the records in the database. And also, we're gonna use the DAL or the DAL object in order to insert data into the database. And after that, we're gonna learn also how to call the data access object and assign it to the G table. So all these we gotta see it in this tutorial. It's very nice tutorial. So first thing, let's go to the uh, NetBeans. First thing we need to to uh, going to the services. We have a tab here called services. So we need to go to the databases and create a new connection. And this connection is gonna be with a MySQL database. So we go to MySQL connection. And notice here you need the uh, driver you can download it um, if you don't have it but I already have it here you can add it if you don't have it, but if you by default it must be here if not you need to download it this is the MySQL connector Java 5.1 you need to download it and add it to the MySQL connector driver so after that you can go next here you can type the host the database we're talking about school so school and we can test the connection. Connection succeed. You can click next, and you just type finish. Before I type finish, I click go to projects. But as you see, before we went to this connection wizard, we will have a magic thing here. We have we will have something cool. Uh, in order to have the magic thing that I'm talking about, the cool thing. You need to go to the services in order to generate the student object from the connection, from the database, directly from the MySQL without typing any single line of code. Okay, because we're talking about student who has an ID, name, and an address, we need to generate the, that object. So, in order to do that, you just go to school, and here you just go to tables. You can see a student here okay this is the table of student you remember that we have the we had designed a data service form okay I s I told you this is a data service form we don't wanna uh, uh, type any code we just wanna drag and drop something here because of the data service so we take this data from this data service we just drag and drop this table into our G table so we just drag it and drop it over this G table. Okay. So as you can see here, the G table has something happened to it. We got an ID, we got a name, we got an address. So if you go to projects, you go to there's a new object here called student. So this is auto generated from the from the MySQL into a Java code. So this is very nice. You can see all the getter and setters here. It's auto-generated. You don't need to mess with them because they are auto-generated. This is about 125 line of code auto-generated for you. So this is very nice. So when you run this and try to uh, run the application that you have created, you go to the data service form. We got to see all the records. So, as you can see here, we got all the records. We got two, one, the name Ahmed, one, two, three. So, we got all the records, and 
it's auto generated so in just a second it took us to do all this stuff and also to create an object so this is the first thing using the drag and drop features in NetBeans so this is a known as I call it as a, a data service form okay so this is the first thing other thing you can do is uh, by going to create a custom object or called let me close this called uh, a data access object or DAL or DAL okay so this DAL object lead you to do this manually by creating everything manually so you are have full customization power to do all this stuff manually so in order to do this let me create a new connection so it, the connection here is auto binded now I need to create it by using uh, some manual code typing so if you go to the database create a new object I need to create a connection object so let's n let me name it my connection to connect to the SQL database, my SQL database. So my con connection and finish. Okay, it's pretty defined here. I had read everything. So my connection, I just copy this and paste the stuff here. So as you can see here, we just created a new connection object which return a connection so in order to do this you need to import the following libraries okay driver manager connection and SQL exception and also you need to create a connection here to be null and after that inside the connection you define a method to be get connection which return a connection and you just type the following line of codes in order to connect with the uh, with a MySQL database so first thing you type try class 4 name you just type this this sometimes optional but you need to type it catch class not found exception if there's no uh, driver in this tool you just you know uh, do this if everything is fine we just same thing we just put this as to be null okay this is you know there's no need for this but no problem and this is the nice thing here we just try to make a new connection by using driver manager the get connection we type gdbc uh, mysql local host we type the database name and the permission the password and the username the username and the password so that our username is root and the password we don't have any password set it or set so this is the default configuration to create a new connection uh, we catch any error here if connection is not equal to null mean that it's open uh, we need to type this message else you know everything is fine uh, we just return the connection so this is pretty much uh, how you can make a connection so this is all the code that you needed to make the connection after this we're gonna use different story uh, we will make let me make sure that I close the the um, okay the, the the wait a minute go net beans let me make sure that I close the the class so I think is it closed? No, it's not closed. So, yeah, it's closed. Okay, that's fine. So after this, I need to create the data access object. So you need to focus here with me. It's very important because if you understand this, you will understand this in many other uh, languages like C Sharp, Java, and it's very very important. The data access object because sometimes you need to uh, make connection with many databases for example you need to make connection with both gray database where the uh, for example 
SQL database or sometimes you need to make a connection with no SQL database so you need to understand the idea of data access object so data access object is a separate layer between your application user interface and your database so you just change the connection without changing the uh, data access object so it's very very important okay so let me let us create the new data access object so here we need to create a data access object for the object student so you just go Java class here we type student DAO okay data access object you just type finish so here we got the student data access object data access object lead you to create do the crude operation which is create uh, update uh, delete and uh, what, what crude create you know um, delete update and insert you can do all these operation by using the data x object so in order to do this I I just want to copy all the predefined data x object because uh, I don't have time to type it manually so I just put it here so you just need to insert the following libraries uh, we inserted the, the, the result set and the statement those two are very important and we are using our array list and a list and of course the connection because we want to bring that connection and connect to the database by using the data x object so all the time you need a connection okay so you need to import these values and these are very important okay first thing I just wanna cut this video into two parts because it's gonna be very long we need more than 10 minutes in the next video so I gotta cut it uh, right now and continue uh, this video in the next part because you know YouTube limit us to 15 high definition minute so first thing you need to just you know that you understand the structure of the data x object we need these those library just import them and make a, a statement to be in all and a connection to be in all because we're gonna do all the stuff based on the statement and the db connection in the next video so in the next video guys see you there thanks